Here's a preview of firmware update 3.10. The highlight of this update is the beginning of our integration with Facebook. And the first few features allow you to post a variety of information to your feed on Facebook. So let's take a look at how this works. So the first thing you have to do is bind your PlayStation Network account to your Facebook account. To do that, go over to the PlayStation Network icon, click on Account Management, and then you'll see here at the bottom a new icon for Facebook. So you can hop in here, and then you'll see the three things that you'll be able to do with Facebook at this stage. So you can share trophy information, share purchase information, and share game event information. And we'll go into each one of these shortly. So in order to get yourself set up, click on which one of these things you'd like to do. You only have to do this once, and after you do that, it's set up until you want to change your settings. And I'll, I'll choose to share trophy information, so I'll turn this on. And then once I confirm that, it's going to ask me for my username and password. So in this part, you'll enter your username and password, and you're all set to go. So now that I've chosen to share my trophy information, I'll confirm. And then you can do the same thing to share purchase information and game event information. So if you choose to share trophy information, you'll automatically be publishing information about your trophies on each game when you sync your PlayStation trophies to the network. In order to sync your trophies, you're probably doing this already, but you click on the trophy collection or you go over to the friends list and compare yourself to one of your friends. So let's take a look at how this works when you purchase something from the store. So I'm gonna go into the PlayStation store and we're gonna try this out with a demo. So I'm going down to demos And let's see here, I'll choose the uh, Jack and Daxter Lost Frontier demo. I'll click on that. I'll click on download. And at this point, it's going to ask me if I'd like to share this information on Facebook. And if I click yes, this information will instantly post to your Facebook account in your feed. And we can take a look at how that looks. So something you've always been able to do with the PS3 browser is access your Facebook account. And in 3.10, we've made improvements to the browser to make Facebook look even better through the PS3 browser. And of course, you can do this on your PC as well. So as you can see, the Jack and Daxter demo is already posted to my account. And if we scroll down, I can show you what it looks like when you get some trophies. So I'll zoom in here. So here you can see a bunch of the trophies I got from Dtunes. So uh, when I synced my trophies, I had four trophies at the time in this title, and they all popped up. And so the third thing you can do with Facebook, which won't be available day one, which will be available very soon, is post game-specific information. While the other two options will happen for every item you purchase from the store and every trophy you get, this will be specific by game. And so what we've done here is give game developers the ability to choose which elements of their game they'd like to post to Facebook. So it can be a specific accomplishment in a game or stats or other things. And if you set this to on, every time one of these events happen in game, you'll be asked if you'd like to post it to your Facebook account. And if you say yes, it'll instantly post to your account. A couple of the other improvements we made are in the photo area. So I'm going to scroll over there. And we've actually changed the way the photos look now. So you might remember in the past when you have a bunch of photos in a folder, they go in a straight vertical line. Now they're both vertical and horizontal on a grid, so it's easy to access photos and find the ones you want to look at quickly. So we've made another improvement in 3.10 based on the feedback we got on firmware update 3.0. And that's to the friends list. So if we go over the friends list, you'll see now that only the highlighted friend is surrounded by a box. And as you scroll down, you'll see that each friend gets highlighted, but the other ones aren't highlighted. And another thing you're able to do here is change the color of your profile. So if you click on your own profile, you'll notice a little tab on the left here. And if I click on this tab, I can change the color of my profile. And this is the color that all of your friends will see when they go into your their friends list and see you. So as you can see, this friend has a purple outline and this one has the original gray. So that's the bulk of the major features in this firmware update. You can read more about some of the other features when we release the update and we look forward to your feedback.